Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Have you ever struggled adjusting the, the point of impact on the scope? Maybe when you are zeroing the scope and you have to do adjustment, you have to lean forward and check where the arrow is saying up, down, left, right, so you know where to adjust. And even when you check on the arrow, after you're turning, you realize you move it to the wrong side. Well, if this is happening to you, stay tuned because I will show you a trick that you don't have to look into the turret and you will always move that point of impact wherever you want. So stay tuned and roll the tape. So let me tell you just in one minute what the trick is. When you unscrew a cap in a bottle, you don't even think about it. You just you unscrew and then you put back the, the cap. Right. What happens when you unscrew? The cap moves up. And when you screw, the cap moves down. That's everything you need to know in order to do the quick adjustment. Let's translate this now here on the rifle. I will do a few shots and then I will show you really quick how you adjust everything here. All right, let's take some shots. All right, all right, let's take the first shot and see how this rifle is uh, zero to see if we need to do any adjustment. Oh yeah, this, as you can see, is hitting up and to the right. So we need to move this shot down. So in order to move it down, think about the cap in the water bottle, right? We need to screw. So let's just screw just a little bit. And we need to move it to the left or in this direction. The same principle applies, so if you screw this, you are moving the internal on the on the scope in that direction. If you unscrew this, you are moving the internal on this direction. And this is where you are changing the point of impact. So in this scenario, let's just move it just a little bit. I'm not even checking. If I really wanted to zero in one shot, I just measure where the point of impact is and then I just adjust accordingly. But I, I just wanted to show you just a little bit of adjustment and then I can take another shot and see what is hitting. We should be closer now. Oh yes, you see it moved both toward the center. So we are, we still need to push it down a little bit. So I would just crank it down. I'm moving more on the, on the left direction. So let's move it on the left. And just take another shot. All right, I think we push it too much. Down, let's go up, up, like this. Hopefully, by now, you can do your adjustment without even taking the eye out of the rifle. It's hitting. I think it's hitting in the center now. Let's take another one. Uh, let me take a shot on this one. Yeah. And then we are zero. So, and that's everything. It's, it's really simple. It's just thinking about how you move the point of impact in a way that is easy to remember so you don't have to go and read the labels every time, like up, down. All the scopes are the same. So you are never found a, a scope that, that that works different, right? I do have some problem with some scope with the parallax is invert. Like for example, the Element Titan is invert for most of the scope that I've used before. But well, that's a subject for a different video. If you find this one useful, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my other videos. I'm really thinking to, to start sharing some of these tips, things that I use to myself that I'm I'm sure it would be useful for anyone watching. So, 
stay tuned to the next video as and always be safe bye